Okay, sorry for my experience, but I figured if there's a time that I should be actually vlogging and documenting my life is during this time when I'm experiencing crazy changes. And I just got breakfast at McDonald's, so I'm going to eat that here while I share with you an update. Hold on. Okay, so for my last vlog, it's apparent that I'm moving to a new place, even though I didn't really say it outright, but I am at the end of the month, which is actually next week. But with that, I can't bring all of my plans with me, plus I need the money. So over the weekend, I posted a bunch of my plants, not all of them, but a good amount of them on a Facebook plant group that I'm in. And a lot of them sold, thankfully. So shout out to Blind Parents in the DMV who really came through for me. So I'm picking them all up now and I am waiting for them to get picked up today. So that is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna show you the plants that I've sold. Some of them are just cutting. Some of them are like whole plants. And some of the plants that I listed, I just listed just cause, didn't think they would sell. And they sold and it kind of like, hurt me a little bit when I saw somebody was buying it but I needed the money so I I sold a plant so it's gonna be sad losing some of these plants a lot of it I am just selling cuttings so I would still have a lot of the plant and which is also a good thing because the place that I'm moving to is while it is my own space it doesn't have a lot of natural light and it is a smaller space so I'm going to be relying a lot on grow lights for this plant until like spring and summer comes, which thank God is about to come. So I, I do have a tiny backyard, which is awesome, which is something that I'm actually excited and looking forward to because I finally have a backyard to myself where I could put my plants for the spring, summer, maybe a, even a little bit in the fall. But now in the winter, it is a struggle because it's a basement studio apartment essentially. Well, it's a basement one bedroom apartment and it doesn't have a lot of natural light. So I have to get rid of a lot of plants. That's kind of like what we're doing today, what I'm gonna vlog about. Hopefully I'll be able to vlog a lot of it. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. Here are the plants so far. I'm trying to group them by like who bought them and whatnot. But this one actually has individual buyers. This one has a separate buyer. This one also has a separate buyer. And this one too. And this one too. I got a couple more boxes downstairs that I could pick up. One is not picking up till Friday. This one is picking it up here. So I'm going to leave it here too. Here's Skeleton Key Pothos. Somebody did purchase this. I did let them know it was suffering from mealybugs. It is still suffering from mealybugs. So I don't know if they're going to still want it. But I can give them a bigger discount just so I can get it off my hands. I want several cuttings of the zingonia plant so I'm gonna make I think about four cuttings or something. I just want to make sure and the chia pants sold as well but someone wants the top cutting so it's a top cutting and then the rest of the plant and someone also wants the Hoya Carnosa princess so and I have to take that whole thing down because they're also getting the Wally Eco planter. I sold it to them. This one I am selling the top cuttings and also with this one. So I think I'm gonna make the cuttings now. And the Alba hasn't sold yet, but the Oreo did. So I'm just gonna make the cuttings now. This one is the Alba. Nobody has bought it yet, but I kinda like wanna make a cutting anyways because this one needs to be like, something needs to be done with it. Oh, taking care of that. I'm gonna spray this one with fungicide as well because I still see some mealybugs with this one too and maybe this one's just a preventive measure and all of them and for this one as well i have no takers on this one yet which is kind of sad but i'm going to spray it down as well because i don't want it to keep getting infested with mealybugs um, by the time i move to my new place i really hope everything is kind of gone so okay I separated the pinatums. There's still like some epipenum aurea in here that is reverted. Hopefully it will produce more variegation. If not, I added a golden pothos there. I might just eventually cut off all the aureum eventually and just have the pinatum here. 
and that's the pinatum separated so i'm gonna isolate them because they still have like mealy bugs as well as the cebu blue pothos so so first this chia pens and before i left i actually bought it a dowel so that i could extend the pole obviously i don't need it now but i'm gonna give it to the new owner so that they could do it themselves but i'm making the top cut because i promised somebody the top cut so let me do it here okay there you go and that is the rest of the plant it still looks good i think for the new owner yeah i think it still looks good for the new owner who are you i don't know who this dog is or why is it in this house but it is this syngonium elbow i think i sold about four cuttings of this um i think that's more than enough i'm gonna stop selling because this is gonna go bald but i'm gonna make the cuttings and do it now i promise each person a three leaf cutting but because this one has two leaves, I'm going to give them four for this one. And let me cut it. All right. So I'm going to cut it here. So they're going to get four. Make as many top cuttings as I can, just so it's easier for them to grow it. I think I made four cuttings, but I'm going to make one more just in case I forgot somebody. Well, this is what's left of my syngonium elbow and honestly i'm not sad about it because i know this plant grows fast and bounces back a lot it honestly needed pruning and now it has its pull back again so it could continue to grow for the rest of the growing season so i'm excited for it but i'm actually not mad i'm glad that i got pruned this and i made a lot of money from this and here are all the cuttings that i made i'm going to like wash and treat them just in case so I did promise them three leaf cuttings, but I'm kind of like, well, it's not variegated enough. So I'm kind of like, so this one, I gave an extra leaf because two white leaves, uh, it might die on them. Um, so this one is actually the perfect three leaf cutting and it has roots. And this one is going to, I'm going to give the person who got the chia pants and the cream splash because I feel bad about the, uh, the skeleton key pothos because... I don't know, man. It's going to give them a headache. So, there you go. I want this. So, I'm going to give them this. So, this one I am giving for free, but I, I don't know if it has root rot or what. It's been sitting in water. She's going to get the syngonium with the pole and then the micans. I wanted a cutting of this one, but I told her because it is so variegated, it's not going to grow for her. And she's a first-time Hoya beginner. But I'll see if I can make a cutting for her anyways. She is buying my princess. So, see like this one, if I cut from here, it's all white. So, I don't know if she's gonna be able to propagate it. But I can cut this part for her. It's not as variegated, but I can do it for her. And cut this part for her. And I love this plant, so I'm trying not to cut too much of it either because I love this white parts too. But if she's not able to propagate it, what's the point of giving it to her, right? You know what I mean? She's just going to die if I tell her, oh, propagate this part. It's not going to survive propagation. Okay. All right, I'm going to bring this to the other room because it's not getting light here i'm also selling a top cutting of my varicosum and not a big deal for me too because look it's such a good plant honestly and it will grow back again so i'm not worried um it also prevents me from having to extend it right now so okay so here are the plants sold and here's what's left of my plants. Still a lot. And this one, they're going to be picked up later in the week. This one is not for sale. And here's what's in the greenhouse. The Stadliana. 
is in there so it's end of day and i have one more person picking up some plants some scheduled for later in the week and i have like two person kind of like ghosted me but that's okay because i'm pretty sure i could trade them off or resell them to other people and you never know they might contact me later on and say they still want the plant but yeah i mean i don't know how i feel about it i don't feel bad letting go to plants I appreciate the money because essentially shout out to the DMV plant people. They are furnishing my new place or paying my rent. So <laughs> either one of those. But yeah, I'm just thankful and I think I'm just more a little bit more appreciative of my plants because for me, they're not just a hobby anymore, just between content creation. And now that when I'm in a bind, I literally was able to sell my plants and you know make me feel better about my financial situation in an emergency situation so shout out to my plants too thank you so much and i just love you even more and i'm still keeping like a lot of plants and my favorite plants and you know that youtube challenge video that's going around among the plant community like if you could only keep 10 plants or how many plants in the case of emergency which plants are going to take and for me, I've done like those videos before, I think one or two times, but like now it's not a hypothetical for me. I know which plants that I'm gonna keep in case of an emergency. So I'm actually gonna do a video on that. So watch out for it. But yeah, so I have a few more plants to say goodbye to, but I feel good because honestly, my plants saved me during this emergency situation you know financially and also like emotionally and mentally so plants i love them but yeah so that's it for today's video i don't know if i actually got much content because like i said after like prepping them for sale i didn't film or couldn't film as much when like people were picking them up and stuff because i just want to make sure the transaction is smooth and most of these people don't know i'm a content creator and I don't want to be filming them and make it awkward. So, but yeah, shout out to the DMV people, especially the folks at the DC plant buy and trade or buy and sell group. Shout out to that Facebook group. You all came through for me. So I really appreciate all your help. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, do subscribe. I come up with videos every week. And if you haven't yet, check out these videos up here. Until my next one. But until then, I see you, I appreciate you, take care of yourself and each other, and have a painful day. Bye!